Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.0.2 to everyone that's capable of getting iOS 11 or 11.0.1. Now this came in for me at 286.1 megabytes. I'm on an iPhone 8 Plus, space gray, and it fixes a few different things that are listed right here. There's also some other issues with it, so we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now the first thing, it fixes an issue where the crackling sound may occur during calls for a small number of iPhone 8 and 8 Plus devices. I haven't personally experienced this, but I know others that have experienced this, so hopefully it fixes that issue for all of the people that were experiencing it. It also addresses an issue that could cause some photos to become hidden. I know of some people that messaged me on Twitter that let me know that their photos were hidden or messaged me on Facebook. And it also fixes an issue where attachments in SMIME or SMIME encrypted emails would not open. And I haven't heard of that happening. I didn't personally experience that. So those are the issues it fixes directly. Now let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 15A421. Now this build is really only addressing those issues. However, there were some other people on YouTube experiencing some other issues and I was skeptical at first and it had to do with battery. So see right now I'm at 94% and 94% is okay, but I just charged it on my way home from where I was and I used a fast charger. I was at a hundred percent. By the time I got home, it dropped down a little bit after when I unplugged it to 99%. Then I got home, I plugged it in and it seemed to stay at 99% for me. Now I'm using an iPad charger to plug in with the standard Apple cable. And it stayed right at 99%. I ran a few Geekbench scores. And what I think is going on here, let me show you. The Geekbench scores for me were pretty awful. Now I know for some others on YouTube they were phenomenal. So for me we've got 8599 for multi-core and 4186 for single core. If I go to last week's or 11.1, .1, which was the beta, and 11.0.1, 1040 or 10,476 and 8599. So it's dropped considerably. So this is what I think is happening. I don't know that it's necessarily a bug, but something is going on in the background. I don't have a lot of apps open. I've got just the two. There's not anything really using any background processes. However, my phone was very hot when it charged, and I think something's causing it to slow down, such as processing something in the background. Generally, when you first update, this occurs. What specifically it is, I'm not sure. The phone doesn't feel terribly slow, but when I do the 3D touch thing, it lags again. So something's going on in the background. Now it's hard to say that if this, go, if this is going to improve over the next few hours, overnight, I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave it plugged in and see if it comes back up. Right now we're at 94, hopefully it goes up. Some other people have seen it go down while plugged in. So that means it's using the processor so, so much that it's causing the battery to drain. Maybe something's going on there. I'm not really sure at this point. We'll just keep monitoring it. And of course, I'll do a follow up video to kind of give you more information about what's going on with that. But right now, those three fixes were in this update. If those weren't an issue for you, you might want to hold off until I test this out and see what's going on. I was using the beta prior to this. I downgraded to this version and it's processing like crazy and causing all sorts of issues. So I'm not really sure what's going on with it but I'll continue to monitor it and we'll see what happens. So that's it for this particular update. I'll leave a link to the wallpaper as I always do in the description below. Let me know your experience if you've already upgraded in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.